Hello everyone, we're in round two of uh, Tribal. And our play we're playing against uh, one of the big shots of Tribal, AJ Eppie. And let's see, what do we get? Hmm. Okay, so... How reasonable is this? We go turn one, Pulse Tracker, turn two, Goldraz, maybe draw him, maybe draw the land to him. This is actually a reasonable one lander. Assuming we're not playing against a super fast uh, deck. So we're not going to mulligan this. I mean, I'd rather go. I'd rather one of the Gouldras be a Lacerator. I think I'd also rather the Urge to Feed be a, uh, <laughs> a Ritual, but. Pulse Tracker... Oh, hey. Um, we're going to always yield to that. Gold Raz. Um, I'm going to play out a threat. I think I misplayed my hymns last match. I think I should have uh, waited till there was a good chance to get something useful. So I'm going to... I think I should have applied pressure, then applied hymns. Okay, so he's on some kind of attunement. Attunement... I'm guessing replenish, so enchantment creatures and replenish. I'm guessing. Um, just go ahead and him him then. Because the big thing with the attunement is it doesn't actually cause you to empty your hand. So if he's got the attune, the replenish, if he's got the stuff, 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 replenish. As yeah, he's on gods, and that's a powerful... I did so basically he makes all of his gods have devotion to each other. They all have devotion to the same color. Whew. And he's got the replenish. Which gives him But what a What a uh, perfect draw. Get back in that graveyard. So is Intimidate affected? Ah. Um, is it affected by... Oh, it's, they have Intimidate, they don't have Fear. So it's not affected by the Swirling Mist. So I'm pretty sure unless he plays... Oh, it actually doesn't matter, the pulse tracker turning sideways will kill him. Unless he has a way to gain life. Does Karametra gain you life? It's a very neat deck, I'm going to say that. Alright, I think um, it's too slow. 
to be good against us. But I could be wrong. It could just be that we had a... Because we had that optimal... Then again, I think we actually had... I don't think it would have actually mattered because of the fact that we had um, the vampires. Well, obviously we had vampires, but we had the uh, the Gul'draz vampires, which... Cavern of Souls, I'm guessing naming God. You know, arguably, I possibly should be running Dark Depths because I'm running Vampire Hex Mitch. You can make an argument for that. I think it'd be wrong. Alright, so I believe we run out the most creatures. I mean, potentially this turn he could replenish. But we do have an Edict. Okay, Heliod, Feria, Thassa. So if he has the Replenish, we could be in a bit of trouble. Just a spot. But he's hitting the attunement, so he doesn't have the replenish. All right, so I think we play the Nighthawk so that we have a good chance of just running through him if he does have the replenish. Because we got the Intimidator, we got the Pulse Tracker. That does four regard so if none of his gods fly. It is a neat deck. Um I don't mean that. I'm I'm honestly saying I really like the concept. Like, I think it's it was slow against us, but I love the idea of repl of God's replenish. It's very cool. Uh, it needs some tuning, but it's awesome. I'm sad he didn't do well. Uh, let's see the next round. 